Hey folks, how you doing? I came out today to split some wood. We had a break in the weather. While I was out here, I thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and, and run my log splitter, make sure the seals stay moist, circulate the oil, and check for rodents. And let me show you what we found. So this is my little Timberwolf log splitter, and I keep it stored on these blocks here year round. I've got the mat underneath to keep dirt from splashing up on it. So it's basically like storing it indoors, but it's outdoors. The other thing I do is I, I put this little pot over the motor and then I put this tarp over all that, which unfortunately creates a really nice dry spot on the motor here. So I took the tarp off today and there was a little bit of, looks like mouse nest sitting up here. So I went and I grabbed my little blower here and I blew all that off, ran it for a few minutes, and then my gut said, you know, you really need to go deeper. There's usually the, the starter right here sitting just like this. So all you have to do to take this off is there's three, I think they're 10 millimeter bolts. You just pop those three bolts off and you've got access. The first thing I noticed is right here, right where that flashlight is pointing, you see how they've actually been chewing on the veins of the flywheel? Now this is a plastic flywheel and I don't really know when, when engines went from uh, metal to plastic, but I guess that's one reason may maybe you would want a metal one, not that anybody makes them anymore. But the other thing is if you look over here and start grabbing with some pliers, there is still a nest in there. And unfortunately, I think the best solution would be a, a blowgun for this one. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a mouse in here too. There were four little bolts to take off this shroud. The shroud pops right off. And this is what was hanging out underneath that shroud. There was no way I was gonna get that out. Even with an air gun, there was no way I was gonna get that out. So now we can just grab our pliers Hope it doesn't squeak at us. Get in there. Look at that. Now I can get in there with my blower and blow this all out, but look at how much damage they did to this flywheel. They nibbled this whole corner away here, and I thought I was gonna be able to get away with not getting a new one. I'll have to go find the model and serial number and uh, go to my dealer and see if I can find one. I just want to caution you folks, if you run a motor with a mouse's nest in it, it's not immediately going to make the motor go bad, but over the course of, course of 5, 10, 15 minutes, because those air passages are clogged, your motor's going to overheat. So you really don't want to do that. So if you're leaving a motor in storage for a while, do yourself a favor, take the recoil starter off, Get an air hose, blow out under there, get a blower, blow out under there, and just give a good look around to see if there's any mouse nests inside the motor. Now I have a shed on the property that's probably 30 yards away from me, and I store my snowblower in there. So last weekend, when we had this, the first snowstorm of the year, there's always a mouse nest under the shroud on the snowblower. So I did the same thing as I, I got the air hose out. Luckily I was close to the house, sprayed everything out. I put a respirator on so I didn't breathe in any, you know, mouse feces or anything like that. But then I actually took the shroud off as well and made sure to blow underneath the shroud and there was even more junk under there. And by the time the whole process was done, there was a mouse basically sitting on top of the snowblower trying to figure out what the hell was going on. If your equipment's in storage for a while, blow out underneath the shrouds, take the recoil starter off, blow under there, and then try to put something, and I don't really know what I'm gonna use to keep the mice out of it in the first place. All right, folks, I'm gonna get back to splitting my wood. Would you do me a favor and go ahead and click that like button, hit the subscribe button for more great tips like this. Homesteading, splitting firewood, rural living, suburban living, you name it. Thanks for watching folks and have a great day. Take care.